We have a tragic story in Dallas. Investigators are trying to figure out how a man who went missing days ago ended up dead inside an empty train car. This was outside a cement plant on West Commerce, and that's where we find Daybreak's Chris Sadigan. Chris, there's a family coping with some very tough news this morning. Yes, Kara, we just talked to him. That fam family has been looking for this man since Friday. Last night he was found in a very hard to understand location inside one of these cement hopper train cars. Now, just within the last few minutes, we have confirmed who the man is. We were here just before midnight when firefighters and the urban search and rescue team were trying to pull the man's body out of the hopper. His family tells us he is 27 year old cable contractor Jamar Parker. They last heard from him Friday when he was giving a co worker a ride home. They posted flyers on social media and across the neighborhood after he disappeared. Now, police pinged his cell phone in the area of this cement plant. Last night, they found that phone outside one of the cement train cars and his body inside one of them. The rail manager said this car was not filled with cement at the time, but it is also 12 feet deep, so it would be difficult to get out. He also said the hopper cars are very hot inside. They carry cement at around 180 degrees. Add on top of that the 100 degree days that we have had lately. Now we're not sure why Parker was in this area. His family also looking for a lot of answers. We plan on talking to them a little bit later on in the morning. We know that they were here last night when the discovery was made and that they have posted a GoFundMe page that we have linked on our website. Ron and Kara.